All right, if you are a Star Wars fan and you have been on the fence for a little while about getting the new Xbox, if you're still playing that Xbox One, Microsoft just announced, and this might be the best time for you to hop into it. Why do I say that? Well, let's find out. Okay, so Microsoft just announced that you can save $35 on an Xbox Series S and Star Wars Jedi Survivor when you buy them together. And that's why I was saying if you're a Star Wars fan and you're still playing your older Xbox One or your Xbox 360 or your original Xbox and you've been thinking about upgrading to the latest Xbox, now would be a good time and a proper motivator to do it. So let's look into this just a little bit. You can see we are here on this uh, promotion page that they have right here on Xbox. Jedi Survivor just came out. Gosh, I think it's been three days now. Uh, really popular game so far. So let's click on learn more <clears throat> and see what this is actually all about. So it takes you to the Xbox Series S. Now, if you notice, this is specifically the Series S. This is not the Series X that they are offering this on. My theory is because they got a lot more S's for sale, and it's going to play this game just fine. Uh, it's all digital anyway, so it's just going to be a digital download anyway. So you see you've got your Gilded Hunter bundle. This is something totally different. And then you actually have to choose one of these. So if you choose the Series S... We'll click on it right here, and it'll highlight right here for a limited time when you save 35 bucks when you add Star Wars Jedi Survivor Deluxe or Standard Edition. So that's nice that you can actually choose which edition you want. If you're a hardcore and you want that Deluxe Edition, you can still get that $35 off. But let's go back real quick and see if we can't actually... Uh, can't actually buy the certified refurbished one. Let's see what they say here. Uh, no. So it looks like you actually have to buy a brand new one. Uh, because that deal right down here is not there anymore. So let's head back. So it's got to be the regular Series S. You know, for fun, let's check on this uh, Gilded Bundle and let's see what they give us. Oh, okay. You can get the you can get the the Gilded Bundle and actually do it. It's probably because this is just a regular Series S. And it's just, you know, just digital downloads that they that they include with it. Uh, so for Gilded, you've got uh, Fortnite, you've got, oh uh, gosh, what are you? Uh, Rocket League, and then Fall Guys. So it comes with three free games. Now these games are free most of the time anyway, but it's just a little incentive. So you can't actually buy this, this Gilded Hunter bundle to actually get $35 off of that Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Here's the question. This system is $300. If you've already got one of these, well, it doesn't really make sense for you to spend $300 to get $35 off of a game. If you've been thinking about upgrading and you, and, and you really like Star Wars, then I think this would be appropriate to do if you've been kind of biding your time and waiting for the right instance to actually get into a newer console. If you're not a big Star Wars fan, this doesn't make any sense for you. You should stick with something like Game Pass or something that's kind of more generalized or wait until Microsoft puts out some other promotional bundle. This is actually a pretty common thing that most video game producers actually do. You're going to see some sort of get this game free or get this really popular game that just came out at a discount so that we can actually get you into buying the hardware. Yeah, you get a discount on that game. And now that games are 70, 80, 100 dollars, depending on the different options that you get. This is pretty common. So looking right here at Jedi Survivor, the regular edition of the game is $70. That is the regular edition. 70 bucks, that's a lot of money to spend on a on, on a video game. And the deluxe edition is $90. $90 for a video game. So you're talking about this the actual game console is 300 bucks. And then your game is another 90. So you're talking about a $400 investment plus your tax plus any shipping fees that you have in there. That's a pretty steep dollar amount to actually get into a newer console. I feel like it is. 
But if you had already planned on buying this deluxe edition and you can really justify picking up another Xbox Series S, I say that the value is there. I mean, why not get $35 off of something that you were going to purchase anyway? Now, if I were a gamer and I was really into this Jedi Survivor, this would probably make me buy into this Series S. I, of course, already have a Series S, so this deal doesn't really do any good for me. And these bundles come up all the time, especially around like the holidays. So if you're not really looking for this Star Wars game, I would say wait. We're going to see a lot more deals here in now four to five, six months out. You guys, let me know your opinion. Leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. It really does help spread the word about the channel. And as always, thank you guys for watching.